Um, he's a terrific player. He's hard enough to guard. Um, and I just don't think from the beginning of the game we did a good enough job picking him up and getting into the ball. Um, I give our guys credit. They dug in in the second half, uh, really competed on, on both ends, um, you know, down the stretch. Didn't make enough plays. I thought there was a pocket there. You know, it was like 99, 94, 99, 96, maybe it was early 90s, uh, where we got some really good looks for our bench and they just didn't go. Um, but that's life in the NBA. You have to come out from the very beginning and try to set the tone. Um, it doesn't matter that it's the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Um, you know, they came out with a, an aggressiveness and a physicality that we didn't. Um, but I'll give our guys credit for responding um, and playing very, very hard in the second half. It's the second time where, in a position where you maybe could have had the team foul intentionally to preserve a little more clock and be down three, and you decided to instead kind of take your chances on the possession and, and wind up in a foul anyway. That's what you're thinking in that scenario. I thought we executed that one fine. We got the ball out of Simon's hands and didn't foul their best free throw shooter. Um, six and a half seconds is plenty of time in the NBA to get off a three ball. I don't want to run up and just foul with 26 on the clock um, when their best player has it. I thought we did a good job of hitting and getting it out of his hands and sped up Jeremy Grant. And once he got around, uh, I think it was Vando, he took the foul. Um, I thought that one was executed the way that we want to. Congratulations on your first technical. Yeah, it should have been two. I should have gotten thrown out. That play was gross. Um, I'm happy that Jordan's not hurt. Not that it was a dirty play. I don't think that there was any intent for it to be dirty, but when a guy goes up in the air um, and lands on his back going for a dunk, you would hope that that one gets called. But, you know, again, that's life in the NBA. Um, I'll have to rethink my Christmas shopping. Obviously, um, on the last play where Jordan's getting a design call for him and then gets the ball stripped, I guess. What were you looking for in that, in that situation? I was looking for the ball to get exactly where it went and then Instead of him getting stripped, I was hoping that he would get the ball above his head and shoot it. Um, I thought the guys executed it pretty well. They caught Lowry's slip to the corner well. Um, we tried to get Lowry with some momentum downhill and then slip out to the corner. So Kelly had two reads. He had the long pass over the top and Jordan coming back. Um, I thought the guys executed it. Those plays are, you know, those moments, it's hard to get a naked look at the end of the game. Um, Portland guarded it well. But, you know, that's Jordan coming left, right, a shot that he's very good at. Uh, the pass was delivered on target. They made a great defensive play. So, um, you know, you can always look back at little things um, in a game. I thought we had a weird play at 35 seconds where the ball popped out of Lowry's hands and ended up in the backcourt. Um, you know, there's, there's just unfortunate moments that can happen late in the game. But, um, you know, when we look back at this game, we'll – We'll examine the first half far more than we'll examine those moments at the end. I think we executed the foul the way we wanted to. We executed the last play the way we wanted to. But if you leave yourself in that situation, anything can happen. Um, you know, it's hard to play from behind under 30 seconds left in a game. So um, the guys were locked in. They, they executed what we wanted to. Um, you know, we just put ourselves way behind the curve, giving up 40 in the first quarter. You, there were a few shots that Simon's made that were pretty tough over mm -hmm. pretty good defense, but what would you have liked to have done better, maybe not on those ones? Yeah, I mean, his four of his first threes, the guy guarding him was either at the three-point line or under it. Um, he's a very, very elite scorer, and he can really score in bunches. So um, our pickup points getting into the ball, to start, we're not good. And if you let a, a great scorer like that see three or four go in, you can be at his mercy. Um, there were for sure five or six shots that he made where you just 
shake his hand and say, hey, man, you're pretty good. Um, but the ones early helped him get into his rhythm. I thought in the second half we did a much better job of making him work really hard. He made some tough twos over guys. Um, but those are shots that we're always going to be willing to live with. Pretty good. Thanks, guys. Jared, what work has been done on you shooting threes? Um, just practicing reps and just shooting the ball. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Are you noticing teams starting to respect it more? Um, I mean, it don't really matter to me. I feel like when I'm open, I'm going to just shoot the ball. and. You know, uh, you know, I've been working on it, so, and I'm, you know, living with the results. What was the defensive play game plan coming into the game? You know, obviously you guys gave up 40 in the first, and then how did that change throughout the game? <laughs> um, just start being more physical, more aggressive, and uh, kind of being up the floor a little more. I think we kind of started in that drop, and we were kind of lower down the floor. So uh, that second half, we tried to just up the pressure and, you know, uh, pick up a little higher and be up on higher on pick and rolls and stuff. So. Um, I feel like we did a better job in the second half. Obviously, you've been in the league a bunch of years now. You've seen your share of like crazy performances from mm -hmm. guys going off. When you see some of the shots that Simons is hitting tonight, like, do you stop and be like, man, that guy's <clears throat> got it going? Yeah, he definitely had it going. You know, he hit some tough shots, hit some great shots. But uh, like I said, when you give a guy that rhythm that early, you know, he was able to see the the ball go through early in the game and it kind of at that point he was kind of just you know shooting in the ocean at that point because so uh, uh, you know we got to do a better job of you know getting guys from the start and showing them more bodies early in the game uh, so he won't feel as comfortable but you know credit to him he made some tough shots made some great shots and uh, you know he played the hell of a game what did you see on the play where JC was going up for the dunk and got clobbered and there was a no call um, I thought he got fouled um, simple as that. I mean, it was a strong take. I, I thought he got fouled. You know, obviously, you know, officials missed the call, but um, I feel like that was a big play in the game for us. Good. All right. Thank you.